Hello there! In this video, you will learn how to integrate or compare information from two or more texts on the same topic in order to write or speak about the topic knowledgeably. If you want to know more about a topic or understand the topic better, you would want to read multiple texts on the same topic. You can compare and integrate the information from the texts to write or speak knowledgeably about the subject. Let's learn this strategy. These are pictures of coral reefs. You are going to learn more about these amazing creatures from two non-fiction passages. It's helpful to use a graphic organizer like this one to gather ideas from the texts that you read. In the column to your left, you'll record information from text 1 titled, What are Coral Reefs? And in the column to your right, you'll record information from text 2, Benefits of Coral Reefs. So let's read. Here are the two nonfiction texts. You can stop the video to read. Finished? OK, let's underline some of the important information in the two texts. So in What are Coral Reefs? We have that they are colonies of tiny animals called polyps. They have soft bodies and tentacles. They build a heart covering around their soft bodies. They live in warm waters and stay in one place. They eat tiny animals called plankton and algae. Now in the second text, benefits of coral reefs we have. Coral reefs are home to many species of marine life. They also provide a habitat for humans. For example, the country of Maldives is actually made up of 26 coral reefs. Many people in the world depend on fish living in coral reefs for food. They also protect coasts from storms and hurricanes. Next, we use the graphic organizer to gather all this information in one place. So from text 1, we learned that coral reefs are made of tiny animals called polyps. They have soft bodies with tentacles, they build a heart covering over their soft bodies, and they stay in one place in the water and eat planktons and algae. From the second text we have, coral reefs are home to many sea animals and plants. They are also a source of food and habitat for humans, and they protect coastal areas from storms and hurricanes. Let's try to answer this question to show what we have learned. What is true based on the two texts? We can say coral reefs are groups of tiny animals that are important to sea life and humans. So now you understand that by reading and gathering information from different texts on the same topic, you can speak and write knowledgeably about the subject. You did an awesome job!